Okay, well, hello, friends and followers. I'm going to try and solder this lug onto this battery cable and see how that goes. We'll see if we get this um this big Weller gun here. So I'm going to try this uh, Weller soldering iron and see how this thing does to uh, provide some heat on this thing. So when you do this, you first want to get the heat to conduct and you want to draw the solder from, the, so you want to feed it into here where there's an opening and then draw it through here. So what I usually do is, and I haven't done a lug in a long time, but you just heat your iron up and you put a little dab of solder toward the end to start a heat transfer. And uh, I'm my light down here a little stronger. Can't really see it that well. There we are. So we'll put a dab down here and try and get the surface of the gun to connect with the surface of the lug. It'll start smoking a bit when it makes contact. The solder should draw once this lug gets hot enough. It should melt all over the lug. and you'll be able to melt solder anywhere in this lug, like that. So now, yeah, see that? So we're gonna feed this in here and make it happen. And you gotta get your solder kind of ready to flow. It's gonna take a lot of solder. It's gonna take a lot. There it goes again. And I don't want to go too much and melt the wire here, so it's really drawn it. How much to put in? I don't know. Enough to make good connection high amperage, right? Drawing it in. It's a huge wire, so maybe when it starts coming out the back here. a lot of solder and it looks about done right about there so it's kind of coming out the back so that's how to solder a lug thanks for watching and now you know more than you did before in soldering a lug onto a battery jumper cable have a nice day